had some trouble there. He's thrown for over 900 yards, but he has over 12 interceptions. That, I think, is key. Howard, on the other side, their secondary, secondary much improved in the last several weeks. Could be a big game if they put the ball in the air. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with the opening kickoff. Howard University, the Bison, hosting the Hornets of Delaware State. And back deep for Howard University is John Javis. Number four, and Clint Ramsey, number 33. Kicking off for Delaware State, the Hornets. Dave Parkinson, number one. He's also their field goal kicker and punter. They set the stage right now because this is a big game. Here's the opening kickoff. Across the 10. That's Ramsey. He's dropped down to get across the 20, fumble, but it's recovered by the Bison. And they'll take over first and 10 at about the 18-yard line. Yeah, it's not a, not a very good field position uh, inside the 20, probably looks like about the 19-yard line there. 18, actually. Right now, Martin McKee, as you can say, week in and week out, is field position. Howard has to establish something on the offensive end, that is, they got to try to run the ball. That's their forte, and I think that's what they're trying to do. We're going to call this uh, a short 18, huh? How about that? <laughs> Almost up to the 19-yard line. The Bowles brings his team. We'll set the offense in the next series. Lee the Bowles now with the first offensive play of the game. And his own 19 first and 10. The Bowles handing off to Killen. He gets across the 20. He's still fighting his way. His gang back along with the Hornets. That was Corey Felsen, number 93. A senior, a sophomore. He's out of Orange, New Jersey. Let's take a look at the Howard University offense. There's Lee DeVos, the little general, leading Fred Killings. He is ranked fourth nationally in Russia. Tony Mack is the fullback. The receivers phase on to our linebacker, Jimmy Johnson. Second and eight. Ball at the 21. Killings is the deep back. DeVos rolling, looking. Off the hand of Charles Lambert. On the coverage, that was number 23, Elvis Hines on the coverage for the Hornets. It'll be third and eight. Nice coverage that time. They came out, got a hand in his face. He's in good position. Hines made a real good play. He put his hand in his face and was able to stop the two catches. That's Lambeck spinning wide right. There's the offensive line led, of course, by Big Willie Felder and Pat Boyd, the All-American possibility on the left side. Brunson, Galladay, and Jeff Dunbar. Third and eight at the 21. That's Killing. Inside, and he doesn't have enough yard. He's picked up about two, but it's going to be a punting situation. And it's indicating there's a possible fumble. Let's see what the call is. There's no fumble. They've held. So the Hornets will get a chance on offense. There's at this point, Hunter coming in now. It's John Harvell coming in for Howard. And they'll have to punt the ball away. Going three straight, and Willie Jeffries on the sideline. Punt is taking a Hornets bounce, and it'll be down at the 49. Good field position for Delaware State. The Hornets start out. They have good field position. They lag on the play. Flag on the play. Now that could be interesting. Roughing the kicker, that's the possibility. Then that would mean that it would be a first down for the Bison. That will be a big early break, Johnny. And this game, is a lot is going to depend on breaks. More. And that's a good point. Whoever takes advantage of their breaks, or turnovers as we call them, may come out to be the victor in this game. Let's see what the, the mark is now with the, the penalty. As it was, it was first down and about five. Willie Jeffries, of course, intensely looking on the sideline to see exactly what this mark is and what the penalty would be. And it looks like it will not be enough for a first down and that they're going to have to kick it again. Let's see what, as they mark it off. But I would think the rough in the kicker penalty would give them a first down. Maybe it was not a rough in the kicker. We'll see what the call is. Run to the kicker. Defense. Five yards. Still fourth down. Fourth down. Fourth down. Oh, it was not. Uh, it was shy. So there's still a yard shy of a first down. They're still in a punting situation. Now back deep, of course, is Tim Edgerton. 
A fine punch return. Number 82 for the Hornets. Ogrell gets the front off. This one's better. Eggerton takes it up to 41 and he fumbles it. But he has retained possession and the Hornets will take over at about their 41 yard line. That's a tough punt to handle when the nose of the ball is coming in a direct downward flight like that you really got to keep your eye on it in order to grab it. And plus the ball's a little slippy too. So let's wait now and see what the Hornets do on offense because they have a good rushing team too. Running into the kicker is a five-yard penalty. Roughing the kicker kick is a 15-yard penalty. They got the running into the kicker. That is Darren Felton, the quarterback for the Hornets, as they run a one set. Let's get their offense after this first play. First and ten on their own 41 yard line. There's the report. Picked up some good yards across this field down to the 41. Outstanding play by Mike Murray, the wingback. Kind of a fake inside, tackled by Thomas Jones. A fake to the fullback and then the wingback going wide. Hey, nice blocking up front. I make a point of attack. Those big men, nice block there. Knocks him out. He just comes up in there and he goes for the yard. Puts that shoulder down and gets enough. Looks like for the first down. It is close to a first down, just outside the 50, uh, what, uh, 49 yard line. And the Bison. So they're going to measure it. I don't know what it is. Good. First down on the first play. First and 10. Good blocking up front, Martin. Good blocking up front by Delaware State Hornets. Dalton brings his team to the line. He has Edgerton split wide left. He is the wide receiver to the bottom of your screen. He is wide left to, to Felton's left. Shot's out of signal. It's first and 10 on the 49. Hand up inside. That's his big pullback. Reggie Barnes powering his way. All the way down to the 40. Picked up of about nine. Robert Hancock on the tackle. It's going to be second and one. Again, all I can say is right now, Delaware is getting off the ball real good. Uh, that, off, that offensive line, Miles Stead and others, they're getting off. Mike Riddick is good wide right. He's number 12. Second and one. We're back again. Close to a first down. Depending on the mark. James Moore on the, on the tackle for the Bison. Good penetration by Moore that time. And that's what you got to do now. You have two good lines here. Offensive line for Delaware really getting off the ball well. Howard has a good defensive line. That's going to be the matchup most of the day. The defenses and offensive lines are going to be the difference in this game. So it's going to be third and less than one. Ball at the 39-yard line of the Bison. Elton rolling out. Got away from one tackle. And he looks like he's going to have the first down. Dave Stewart with the tackle, but almost picking him off in the backfield is number 98, Robert Ward. He almost tackled Felton before he had a chance to roll out. Mark is important here in terms of the amount of yards. Looks like they're going to stop the clock. Another measurement. Uh, they, they came out on top on the last one. It looks, this one looks really close again. Ball would have to be just about to, to the 38-yard line. Looks like it's going to be shot. This broadcast is being presented by the authority of Howard University Broadcasting and is intended for the private use of Channel 32 viewing audiences. Any rebroadcast, broadcast, or other use of this game, the fact when we can see that the ball is, the head of the ball is just over for the first down. Anyway, any rebroadcast or other use of this game without the express written consent of WHMM TV is prohibited. First and ten, the Hornets. Hornets are establishing a running game here. They want to put the ball in the air. I mean, they have it. They are running the ball, and that's key. Trying to get something established. Back to your field with Felton, with Barnes, with Bullback, and the ball to the right half back, Mike Murray. That's Mike Ritter. Running, getting all the way down, close to a 30 yard line, down to about the 31. On the tackle is Thomas Jones. Jones came with to make the tackle, but I'll tell you something. Number 64, Raymond Scott Andrews, the offensive guard for Delaware. I mean, he had a real nice block, but he was able to get that running back to go up in that hole and gain enough yardage. Second and three, the ball is after 31 of the Bison. The Hornets are on the move. Split wide left now. 
is 82, Tim Edgerton. Lone step back to the ball, rolling out of self, looking toward Edgerton. He's got a man wide open, touchdown! Big play, number 80, David Jones, the tight end, coming across all the way for the 31 yard touchdown. They really set that play up nicely. Run, run, run. Then they come back, send this man across the field. He gets behind. Here he goes. See again. He fakes up in front. He rolls away from the pressure now. Good blocking so far. This man, we can't see, but this man is wide open. He came all the way from the other side of the field. Edgerton has cleared him out as they go after the point after. This is Parkinson. This kick is up. And it is good. So 10.23 left here in the first quarter. And the Hornets of Delaware State have taken the lead with a 31-yard touchdown pass. It is 7-0 Delaware State over the Bison of Howard University. We'll be right back. Seven. He's down short of the 20-yard line, still at about the 17. Bison once again will take over on offense. And inside their own 20, Willie Jeffries does not have to like that field position at all. I'm sure he doesn't because the name of this game is field position is starting by the same spot they did earlier. they got to get something mounted here in terms of a drive. And I think the Bose is going to come out and try to establish that running game, Martin. Well, he spits out wide left. Derek Bazon. And then up is Clint Ramsey, number 30. Chris Killings is the deep back. And that's the goal. Pitch into Killings. He's across the 20. Fighting his way and he gets down to about the 23 yard line. Paul Andy Harris, one of the fine defensive linemen, maybe the finest defensive lineman for the Hornets on the tackle. Uh, Harris is out of Del Mar, Delaware. And a happy cheer. He's a little bit wet, but having a good time. Second down. Pick up a five. So it'll be second and five on the 23, the Bison. They're trailing now in this contest, 7-0 here in the first quarter. Split wide right is Charles Lambeck. Wide left is Derek Faison. Hand off inside, Tony Mack. Nowhere to go. Ball's on the third, but it's recovered. The Bulls falls on it, so that's going to be a loss on that play. They go all the way back to the 19-yard line. Yeah, that fumble was caused by Paul Harris in the 60s of Delaware. Had good penetration at the point of attack. They say Paul Andy Harris is probably their best down lineman on the defense. It's going to be third and eight ball at the 19. Good wide right is Charles Lambeck. That phase on his wide left. Killings is the tailback. Tony Mack is the fullback. The Bulls looking. He runs out of trouble. Still running. Still running. Going deep. Headed for Jimmy Johnson out of bounds. Avoided a loss that time. I mean, he was really being chased. That good penetration by Delaware State, a down lineman. So the Bulls had to run for his life. Spotted a couple men downfield. One over, so he threw it out of bounds to avoid the loss. Both Jimmy Johnson and Derek Faison were right there together on that one. You could have covered them with one blanket. They were so close in that pattern. Right. Fourth to punt again. This is John Harvell. Second straight time. The Bison have gone three and punt. Parkinson. This one is for Edgerton at the 50 yard line. He dropped it and he hit the cover. Balls on the first. But the whistle had blown. The ball is dead. The Hornets will take over first and 10 at the 50. That was unnecessary. That was a punt of 31 yards with no return. There's a little heated battle continues it as both these teams are not really yeah. it's a congenial opponent at all. It's going to be a tough game all day. It's going to be like this, nick and tuck all the way. First and ten, Felton brings his team to the line. And on the inside, that's Reggie Barnes, a tough fullback. Robert Ward on the tackle. Picked up a, well, about two yards, so it'll be second and eight. Yeah, the crowd's trying to get in the game here, Martin. Trying to get these guys psyched up there. 
The so far, it's been off LOSD. You're right. Uh, offensively, the Bison has not been able to do anything. And here's, of course, the Delaware State offensive backs and receivers. The big guy in the city, Reggie Barnes. He's got the ball again. He can motor, pound his way. He can throw all the way down to the 30-yard line. Tackle is David Stewart, along with Walter Price, the cornerback. This guy shows some good strength here. There's a good hand off the breaks away from James Moore. Now he's just moving up there looking for that yardage. I mean, I like the way he's running here. Good run, good block at the point of attack. Howard's defensive line is going to have to make an adjustment. Nice run by Reggie Barnes. Pick up at 18. They send out three wide receivers. Tip is to the left. Lone step back to Barnes. Barnes has it. Inside again. Power this way. Picked up about two yards. Second and eight. Charles Jones on the tackle. James Moore also. Short game that time, Marty. Pick up a two, but uh, they're using a lot of different players on offense, bringing in wide receivers at each time. Here's the offensive line, and it's a fine one. Roderick Millsap, the left guard. Lee Johnson, the right guard, and Justin Cox to the right tackle. Johnson, looking to pass. Looking to Head for the most incomplete. As he was trying to get that one to Mike Riddick. John Van Horst on the coverage. It'll be third and eight. Got the open there, just on the board. How we had him really double pump. They had a man underneath and a man behind him. If you could throw a pass to a guy like that, you could really hum the ball. He couldn't do it. Mike Riddick uh, sometimes runs out of a left halfback spot. Now we've got him out as a wide receiver. They bring in two more wide receivers now. A passing situation, third and eight on the Bison's 28 yard line. Big play, big defensive play coming up now for the Bison. Trying to stop the Hornets, but they've been able to move the football well. Wide receiver White is Tim Edgerton. He's a big play man. There goes Barnes in motion. No setback. Nelson looking. Gets away. Going for Edgerton. He's got him at the five. Inside the five. Down to the three. First and goal. Walter Price and Sean Van Horst in the cover. They brought him down and kept him from scoring. Beautifully executed here. Ah, he gets away from Jones, and now he just pops this ball in there. He's waiting for the catch. Boom, oh, got a good concentration here. Nice tackle by the secondary. Nice pattern that time, and they really set things up. Tim Eggerton, real nice pattern. It's first and goal. The ball is at the three-yard line. The fullback now is Reggie Barnes. He's the guy to watch the power run. And off outside, they're trying to go wide. That's number 21, Robert Bethea. Bethea had nowhere to go. He was brought down by Thomas Jones. It's going to be second and goal. Big goal line stand here. Howard needs to stop him. Delaware has a lot of momentum, and that's what you want to stop. You don't want to get too much momentum. Mighty Mary, once it's in your favor, can really play havoc with the opposing team. Second and goal. It doesn't bring this team to the line. They're going with a full backfield, straight to the backfield. Vaughn, Murray, and up inside. It's going to be close. Let's look for the spot. That is Reggie Barnes with the carry straight up the gut. Marty Graves on the tackle. Stopped him shy of the goal line. It's going to be third and goal. We're going to stay at about the one yard line. Actually, inside the one. Ball is about six inches from a touchdown. Reggie Barnes has already carried for 33 yards here with only five minutes left in the first quarter, so he has already had an outstanding game. Reggie Barnes now is the long setback, two wing back. Quarterback sneak up to Feldman. Aaron Feldman is in. Feldman is there for the touchdown. Nice blocking up front. I mean, hey, he took the snap, stepped back one, and went over to his right, but over his right guard, and went in there for the TD. With the bias is so much done that on two possessions, the Hunters can march down to score. They're now trying for the second point after the game, and this crowd is wet and not real happy right now about the turn of events. 
a 50-yard drive that took eight plays. They're trying to convert the point after now to make it 14 nothing. Three minutes and 30 seconds. That drive. Hawkinson with the point after. It's up and it's good. So with 5.04 left here in the first quarter, Delaware State follows the Hornets on the move. The road for a two touchdown. They leave Howard University 14 nothing, And we'll be right back with the Delaware State kickoff in just a minute. Four-yard return by John Davis. They'll take over first and ten on their own 46-yard line. But the Bison offensively have really stuttered. For two series now, they have gained a net of seven yards. First and ten on their own 46. This is their best field position so far in the game. Good field position. Let's see what they do with it. Wide right is number four. That is John Davis. He just had that fine kick return to set them up in this offensive series. The goal, looking to pass, steps up, going deep, outside, got his man, Jimmy Johnson, he's still got it, on his feet, inside the five, touchdown! Derek Faison with the catch, not Jimmy Johnson, Derek Faison with just a great catch. There's a flag on the play, though. They may have to take this one all the way back, but what a great individual effort by Derek Bazar. Hey, Mark, I think the preliminary signal looks like offside Delaware. Bazar's touchdown will count. Nice play. Here we go with the replay. The bounce just slings this ball out there. The defensive back has good coverage. You can't have better coverage than that. Bazar jumps over him, tips the ball, keeps his eye on the ball, comes back, grabs it, and you can tell he's kind of hurt because he's not moving well there. But he's able to take it on to the end zone to complete a 54-yard TD. That was a great individual effort by Derek Bazan. He made that play. And suddenly, the Howard University offense has picked up. He is still down in the end zone as they're working on him. Bazan is still on the back part of the end zone, and they're waiting until he clears the field, and then they will set up now for the point after. 4.43 left here in the first quarter, and already this contest has got 21 points, a possible 20 points, and a possible 21st point in the game. Games with Delaware State, they always go down to the wire. They're tough games. These teams are going to put some points on the board. We've already seen that. It's going to be a tough defensive battle. I mean, they're going to go at each other. And, it, and of course, this is the weekend for traditional battles, and this, that, that's what we have here. Two teams that really don't like each other, and they love to rub it in, but they always fight tooth and nail with that kind of intensity that makes the close battle. Hey, remember, Howard beat Delaware last year at Delaware to win their first league championship. Delaware would like nothing more than to achieve the same favor. Okay, so Gary Moffitt now in for the point after. And holding for Moffitt is uh, number two. Of course, that is Anthony Davis. Kick is up. And it's good. Well, the Bison have converted the point after, striking an eight-second, 54-yard touchdown pass, lead of O's with Derek Faison. And with 4.43 left here in the first quarter, it is 14-7, Delaware State leading. And the Bison gets set to kick off. Special teams, as you pointed out in the, in the pregame show, would be critical. And we thought it would possibly be the, the Hornets special teams that would would show, but of course it was John Davis with a great kick return that set up that scoring drive. He brought it all the way back to the 46. There's Derek Faison on the sideline. Yeah, they needed that play. I mean, Davis came with a big play. It sparked them. They came right back and scored. That's what you have to do. Now, on this kickoff, the key here is you want to get a, get a kick down the field nicely, and you want all of your players to go down and cover their lanes. Delaware, on the other hand, they want to get the ball into Egerton's hand and try to get a good run back. Egerton is back deep along with Reggie Barnes. Egerton is at the goal line on the right or at the top of the screen. Of course, set to kick off with Jerry Mosca. On the ground. They keep it on the ground. 
Good kick that's picked up. Across the 20, 45, 30, down to about the 32 yard line. That was number 27 on the carry. Donald Turner, a junior out of Trenton, New Jersey. Charles Gibbs on the tackle. Delaware State will take over on offense. They're on 32 yard line. Now Martin will have to see what adjustments the Bisons have made defensively. I mean, Delaware was running the ball nicely and mixing it up with passes. Let's see what the Bisons do to make it jump. They have three wide runs, double wide receivers left and a wing back. In motion now. Sweeping. Getting outside all the way down to the 34 yard line. That was John Barber. This is Terry coming out of his wing back spot. Deron Robinson with the tackle. Pick up of about two yards. Deron made a nice play that time. He came in behind the lead block and made the play. Because if he didn't make that play, I think he would have got a big game around it. Trip receivers to the left. And up inside, Reggie Barnes. Across the 35, fighting his way. This guy is hard to bring down. He gets all the way up to about the 37 yard line. Bruce Dickerson on the tackle for the Bison. A lot of pushing and shoving out there. Let's give him a pickup. Nice pickup of about uh, three yards on that one. Ball is after 38. So it's about a third and five. Big defensive play here. Big, big defensive stand. Reggie Barnes is the lone setback. Wing back in motion is Mike Ritter. Nelson looking to pass. Complete. Got his man. That's Tim Edgerton. The big play man inside Bison territory. That's first down. Hey, this kid Felton has thrown a real nice pass there. Good uh, coverage was okay. They were in the area, but they will look at this. He goes out, rolls away from the pressure, has a good blocking the pack in front of him. Nice pass. Now, that's a well-thrown ball there. Nice catch. And you can see he's in between the linebacker and the defensive back. Nice pattern. First and ten ball at the 46-yard line of the Bison. In motion is Mike Murray. Hand off inside. That's Reggie Barnes. Faison, Derek Faison injured his right shin, so that's the latest. Brian Paltone in on the tackle there. So that uh, normally is not too serious of an injury, a right shin injury, uh, which is better than the ankle or better than the knee, certainly. Certainly on, on how he has, yes. But I think he's also suffered from a hip corner from the previous game. So he's really not well. Pick up of a yard, second and nine. Ball of the nose of the ball is inside the 45 of the line. Good wide right, right now. It's Tim Edgerton. Falcon looking to pass, looking toward Edgerton's side. He's under a rush. Gets away, throws it away, out of bounds. Third down. Good defensive pressure. The line got good penetration. They forced him to do something he didn't want to do. Falcon and Ron Wilson in on with the pressure on Darren Felton. Forced him to throw that ball away before he wanted to. So it's going to be 39 ball at the 45. Penetration is key. And last play, they did get just that. This play, they need more of the same. They have to watch that pass here. They've been running with him. Put that man in that slot. And he's won him in between the linebacker and the defensive back. They got to watch for that. Delaware State leading 14 to 7, 214 left here in the first quarter. The third nine ball at the Howard University 45, and Darren Felton takes the timeout. Saw well, something he didn't like that time, Martin. He had a wide receiver to the left, Mike DeLon, who was actually the tight end, but they had him split out as wide receiver. So they, they were going to flood him with five wide receivers. And of course, they turned the side and I'm talking to his offense, trying to get it together. Yeah, I think he looked up and he saw Thomas Jones had come up in the linebacker spot. Looked like he was going to blitz. 
As soon as he saw him come up, he knew the play wouldn't work. He called timeout. That's the heading quarterback. And here you can see how his coaches are telling their players, hey, look, we got to make the necessary adjustments. We need a big play. Black Maul, of course, the defensive coordinator, right there in the middle with the light blue jacket. Willie Jeffries involved, trying to pep up the defense. And these people have a lot of pep all the time. <laughs> they do. On the sideline, in the rain, and blood, every minute of it. And of course, this is the way to end the season. A regular season game with a rival like Delaware State, an intense battle. Big play now, third and nine. Howard University trying to get back in it. They're already back in the game, but they'd like to take over and continue their, their momentum on offense. Third and nine, ball at the Bison, 45. In motion is Reggie Vaughn. There's some motion. It looks like Mike Delon, the tight end, moved. Penalty. Let's see what the call is going to be. It looked like to move from the line of the Hornets. And if it is, they have across them five yards. And it'll be third and 14. And it is. Motion. A procedure penalty, and it looked like number 11. That is their second penalty. It cost them 10 yards to find the contest. Don't stop. I said, third down, third down. So it'll be third and 14 for the Hornets. The ball is at midfield. Definitely a, a passing situation. And again, uh, you have to watch these receivers because this is really going to be something here. Edgerton and Mike DeLon with wide left. In motion is Reggie Vaughn. Nelson looking to pass. Steps up. He's going to run it. And he's going to drop down at the 45. Big play by Ron Wilson. But if he had broken away from Wilson, he would have been able to pick up the first down. So, the Hornets in a punting situation. Going back deep. For the Bison will be Tony Mack, number 31. And the kick is Parkinson for the Delaware State Hornets. Tony Mack is back deep. He's at about his 15 yard line. Parkinson with a 40 yard average gives off a good one. Bounces. And it's going to be down at about the 5 yard line. That was a great punt. I tell you something, Martin. That time, once Matt put that hand up and slowed the receiver, he probably should have blocked that man so the ball had a chance to go in the end zone. But then, unfortunately, took a bad bounce anyway with coming back towards them. That's the way it bounces, though. Once again, the Bison take over in some tough field position. First and 10, 39 yards. Shot with no return. They're taking over first and 10 on their own five-yard line. Well, offensively, they struck suddenly the last time. Let's see if they can get a drive going with a minute 30 left here in the first quarter. And a timeout has been called a penalty. Now, I don't understand the call here. Really, Jeffers is looking on the sideline as they have spotted the ball after 20. I don't understand the call. It didn't see a flag. But they have ruled that that play was a touchback. So it's first and 10 Bison on the 20. I don't see that one, but they're very fortunate. First and 10 Bison, the ball is hands off to kill him. And he doesn't have anywhere to go. Pick up with maybe two yards with nowhere really to go. Tackles by Craig Parsley. Delaware is known for good linebackers. That kind of linebacker killed the hole, made a nice tackle, held him to a minimal gain. They have ruled that Delaware State took the ball into the end zone, and that's a touchback. It looked like to me that, that, that he caught the ball at the five and ran it into the end zone, took it down at the five. Still, it's second and eight. Bison on the move. The bow. This is a killing and he really net head on by Craig Paisley with a five tackle. And also number 59 was there. That was Edward James, the sophomore out of Philadelphia. Hey, let's watch this play. He goes on the line. All of, all of Delaware's people are in good position. Boom. Comes up, he meets killers, and just throws him to the turf. Nice play by Mr. James. Long tackle. Absolutely perfect form tackle. So, loss of a yard is going to be second and ten. The Bulls with the long signal count. Maybe he's switching off. He's lifting the pass. He's going for four towers over 
overthrown and incomplete. That was intended for Troy Kyle, but uh, that was way over his head, incomplete, and the Bison will have to punt. Except for the one big play, the 54-yard touchdown play to Jared Faison, the Bison offense has been stopped. Right, they haven't gotten on track yet, and uh, that's going to be the key to do. Well, they can get on track. Harbaugh back to punt. He's throwing. It's going to be brought down. Big play. Big play by Gavin Milligan. From Cambridge, Maryland, a sophomore in on John Harville, and he brought him down. Delaware State's going to take over at the at the ten yard line of the Bison. That was a nice play by Gavin. I mean, he shot the gap, came in. Harville had to pull it down. He wanted to punt it, but he couldn't because it would have been blocked. With that big special teams play by Gavin Milligan is going to bring an end to the first quarter. Delaware State will take over first and 10 at the 10, leading Howard University 14 to 7. We'll be right back with the second quarter. Pick up, two men came through. Delaware State, big, big, big opportunity here. We'll have a first and 10, leading 14 to 7 as we open the first quarter. First and 10 on the Bison 10. Darren Falcon. In motion, going wide, that is Reggie Barnes, brought down by Bruce Dickerson. In motion, of course, is John Barber. Dickerson with a big tackle, picked up on the actually a half a yard on that play. We'll call it a yard until it's second and nine. Ball is just inside the 10 yard line. The Bison defense will have to sit in here, needing some big plays. Split wide right is Tim Eggerton. The wing back is Marvin. He's in motion. That's going to be a penalty, probably an illegal procedure penalty against Delaware State. That'll take him back five yards. Looks like uh, right guard Stephen Hart stepped up a little bit and made a false move. Little ancient. Both five. Just out there. Second down. Second down. Really no need for that because he knows it's snap count. <laughs> so it's going to be second and 14 from the 14, and the Bison stand is standing up asking for some defense. <laughs> Second and 14 for Delaware State, and they have called a timeout. And so they want to make the most of this opportunity, and they're not going to try to make any more mistakes. Willie really, Jeffries is going to get with his defense, along with Coach Backnell, who is the defensive coordinator for the Bison. Yeah, right now, Delaware's coach is telling them, hey, look, we don't want to make another bad judgment here. We want to get at least three points. He's going, he's going to try to pick in seven. Howard, on the other hand, is telling his team, Howard, on the other hand, is telling his team, hey, look, this is what we got to do. We got to have a good defensive stand by that line. Now, you can see Felton here, he's really listening intensive to these instructions. Uh, Bill Collick, Bill Collick, of course, is the coach for Delaware State. They won it, and he's been there four years. Four years, has a good record. Job. Outstanding job. And this is, this is a critical series for them that the Bison, of course, can hold. That's going to give them a lot of momentum and maybe prep up that offense, which has not really clicked except for the one big play. And of course, that was for the touchdown, so they're right in the ball game, trailing 14-7. Willie really Jeffrey, yeah. Looks like George Allen, Allen looking at asking for the big play on defense. George Allen is sitting there. It's going to be second down and 14. The ball is after 14. Darren Felton, quarterback. And he sends out Tim Edgerton, wide right. David Jones is split wide left. The fullback is Reggie Barnes. In motion is Mike Ritter. Boy, it looks like a motion again, but Melvin is looking. Rolling towards Tim Edgerton. Now he's going to run it. He's got a man. That's David Jones. Jones is still on his feet inside the five, fighting his way. That was Mike Galan. Number 11, Mike Galan with the reception. He's brought down by Walter Price. Mike Galan fighting his way inside the five, gets all the way down to the three-yard line. Here you see this play. He comes back. He's rolling out to his right. He looks and sees nothing. Good penetration. Good defensive secondary coverage. Nobody's open. 
take the back to the other side and gets that secondary receiver, and then he just bounces off somebody there, and Mike DeLon gets as much as he can. Big tight end. And it, it is possible for them to get a first down without scoring. It is third and a long one. Ball at the three. Elton rolling out. He's going to score. Yes, touchdown. Delaware State, the Hornets. Taking advantage of Lake Martin, and that's what you have to do. When you get a break, you've got to put the ball in the end zone. Now you see this thing here. He rolls out to the bottom of our screen here, and he's moving on out. Nice play. Just wide open field, man. He just takes it on into the end zone and makes a real nice play in the captain for a touchdown. Darren Felton, 6'1", 210 pound junior. A two-yard touchdown run by Darren Felton, the quarterback, and they capped a 10-yard drive that was set up by the tackle of the punter. And Parkinson converts the point after him. Yes, the Hornets have struck again. It is 21-7. A three-play, 10-yard drive that took a minute and 25 seconds, and the two-yard touchdown run by Darren Felton. So with 13.35 left here in the first half, the Howard University Bison have their work cut out. They've got some work to do on offense, trailing the Hornets 21 to 7. The Hornets are doing what's necessary here. They get a break, they take the ball into the end zone. Now, on this kickoff, Howard needs a good return. Something like what Jason did last time. Delaware is going to really get in those zones. They're going to run downfield as fast as they can to try to hold it to a minimal run back and then just play good defense. Well, you said the special teams were going to play a critical role in this contest, and we just saw that one. That with uh, Gary Milligan making, Gavin Milligan making the big play to tackle John Arbel, the punter, to set up that 10 yard score and drive. That set that up for the Delaware State Hornets. Of course, John Davis with a big kick return set up the 54 yard touchdown pass by the Bison. So, special teams already played a critical role in this game, and we've got 13.35 left here in the first half. Parkinson with the kick, he keeps it on the ground. Box with 30. That's Jimmy Johnson. Gets all the way down to the 55 yard line. Jimmy Johnson with the carry. So the Bison will take over. Very good field position. First and 10 on the road 35. They must get on track offensively. With the exception of that one long TD drive, they haven't shown us much on offense. And the drive was one play. It was only one, one play. It was only one play. Yards. It was bad. What they got to do here, Martin, is they must establish a ground game. I mean, that's their forte. Thus far, Delaware's linebackers have really been coming up and making the play. Troy Kyles and John Davis have put wide left here for the Bison. Lee DeVoe brings his team to the line and they are ready to roll. This is killing. Inside handoff. And he pounds his way straight ahead. It's all the way up to the 44 yard line. Clinton DeFeo with the tackle. They are out of Randall's Town, Maryland. He's a junior from Delaware State. See, this is what I'm talking about. Nine yards on first down. Now you've got options. You can decide whether you want to pass or run. A lot of things you can do with your offense now. First down is a critical down to it. Second and one. Killing is the deep back, Tony Max is the fullback. Killing. He's got the first down. He's always the spot. He gets all the way down to the 49. That looks more like the tackle by O'Neill Tuckley out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the Hornets. That looks more like the Bison offense that we've seen just throughout this season. They are starting now to fire out that offensive line. That's right. Pat Boyd, I'm sure, has told his teammates, hey, let's go, man. This is a big game. My last one as a Bison, I want it. First and 10 ball at the 49-yard line of Delaware State. And Jimmy Johnson shifting to the right shot. Four times, two wide left. Dylan with the tailback. Hand up inside the back. He's got this. He's popping through. He's 35 30. Still on his feet. Powers all the way down to the 25. Big block by Pat Boyd that time. I mean, he came out and just had a real nice block on the linebacker, which was able to spring back. Now, you see this play. He comes up in here. Now, there's that block right there, number 67. Good shield block. Matt just jumps off his tail, and he takes it on upfield. And nice we, play. We give the referee a screen block on there. He was sitting there screening off one of the linebackers. First and 10 ball 
almost to the 25-yard line of the Hornets. Good wide right is John Davis. Inside Davis, Troy Clyde. And up inside again. This time he goes to Killing, pick up a, maybe, a yard, maybe two. That's Craig Parsley out of Salem, New Jersey, with the tackle. Pick up a two, it'll be second and eight. Ball is inside the 24-yard line, and this looks more like the Bison offense than we're accustomed to seeing. They're picking up the pace now, picking the pace up. Good wide right, two wide receivers. That's John Davis, number four, and Troy Kyle. Killing back. The eye formation. Killing the defense. This is the killing. Back with the tackle. With my goodness. Marvin Wright is right there. Tony Mack made a block on Marvin Wright, but he took him outside. Killing went outside and he was still there for the tackle. Hey, that's a full play. I mean, he came off. Let's watch this. Okay, you see he comes out with the verse. He pitches it off. Wright comes up. Boom! Takes on the blocker. Bounces off him and just lays it on Killing. That's a nice play by that big defensive back, Marvin Wright. Marvin Wright, of course, had a mismatch with Tony Mack. Mack is 5'5", 180 pounds. Marvin Wright is 6'4", 215. Split wide left on third and nine is Troy Kyles and John Javis. Killing with the lead back. The Bulls on third and nine. Look at the pass. Split on the turn. Nowhere. Marvin dropped down at the 38. They blitzed Wright that time and the two linebackers through this play out of sync. Nice, nice call, defensive call. They're going to lose 14 yards on that one. And that's going to force a punting situation that was Malcolm Sherrell and Marvin Bright. Yeah, well you blitz, they blitz that defensive back and you can see he's already in there. Boom, and they just come in and converge and make the play. Harvell in for the punt. Picked up. That's number six. Malcolm uh, Michael Murray, one of the wingbacks with the catch, and I, I, I'm surprised he didn't let that one bounce, but it's at the 15-yard line. I like what he did. I think he should have grabbed that, but you never know what's going to happen, Martin. Would have caused them bounces. Could have been down on a one or two. In this case, he holds it and gets the ball up near the 15. 23-yard punt with no return. So Darren Felton brings his team to the line. Fullback is Reggie Barnes. Handoff, switch and right. That's John Barber. James Moore on the tackle for the Bison. Pick up of about two yards, so it's going to be second and eight. There's a flag on this play, the late flag, and I think it's going to be for unsportsmanlike conduct. And who is it going to be against? It's going to be against, I think, a Bison because it looked like when they were coming out of the pile, Someone wasn't getting up right and had a foot on somebody. Let's see what the referees call on this one. That would be 15 yards, and that's a big one. When you have a team... Big ball! Close the foul! Is this a defense? Mm. First down! First down! Yeah. There's a lot of emotions out there right now, but you got to keep your emotions under control. And I'm sure this is what Coach Jeffries is saying right now. Hey, you got to hold those emotions in, and you got to play this game. This is a mind game right now, and you can't let it get out of control. So instead of a second and eight at the 17, it is now first and 10, Delaware State, at the 32. Dan Felton, quarterback, for the first and 10. Inside handoff, that's Reggie Barnes. He gets his clock to 35, gets all the way down to about the 38-yard line. Pick up a six, it'll be second and four. Robert Ward with the tackle. Nice game on first down. Hey, this guy Barnes, he's got a good day in already. I mean, he's really going to the bank here. It'll be second and four at the 38. Good wide right with Tim Edgerton. Here's Barnes coming wide this time. About the 40. Flag is there. He's all the way down to the 44, but a flag was thrown on that one. On the tackle is Thomas Jones and David Stewart. Jones, of course, had a big game last week with two interceptions and ran one back for a touchdown. Let's see what the call is. It looks like it's going to be against Delaware State. 
You know, Barnes is off to a good start. Uh, prior to that carry, he had 10 carries for 44 yards. And they're going to have to start laying some leverage on him and do something like that. Two receivers play to come back, hands it off to Barnes. He's going to break this wide. Second down, second down. Yeah, you can see right here. See it right here. Right there, he's holding that man. Actually tackling. Pulling him down. That's a big help for the Bison because it'll be second down now. The ball at the 28-yard line of Delaware State. It'll be second and 14 at the 28-yard line of Delaware State. Stephen Anderson stood wide left. Carlton hand off inside. Reggie Barnes got the 35 all the way down to the 39-yard line. Hey, that's a good pickup. Good pickup on that play. A little bit of a draw play. Sean Van Horst, the sophomore out of Baltimore, Maryland, with the tackle. They're keeping the Bison off balance with their play selection. Just blocking at the point of attack. And hey, Reggie Barnes, I mean, he's just doing what it takes. He's putting his head in there. And he's getting as much yards as possible. Really put him into a good situation in terms of third down here. Third and two. The ball is inside the 40. <laughs> Inside handoff again. This time he's going to be shot. The pitch is gone. He fooled me on that one. I was watching the fullback. Good take there. Good take there. Good take horse with the tackle, but they got the first down way inside Bison territory, all the way down to the 46, almost to the 45. Scott Barnes is having a good game. We'll tell you something also. This quarterback, Felton, is really having a good game. He's making good many calls. He's running this offense, and right now he's in control. Big game that time, first down. First and 10 at the 46 yard line of Bison. Good wide right now. Mike Hurley is the wing back. He's going to the fullback. Hurley goes in motion. Hand off inside. That's for John Barber. He's still fighting his way. He gets all the way down to about the 41 yard line. Look up a five. We're blocking up front for Delaware State that time. Number 61, Lee Johnson, that big offensive tackle, made a nice block. Deron Robinson finally brought him down, along with a host of others. A lot of power running by these one for Delaware State. A lot of power running. Hey, look. Barnes already had 12 carries for 70 yards. They have a good flow going in terms of rushing. David Jones and Tim Edison are put wide right. In motion is Mike Smith. Riddick has the ball. He's trying to sweep left. He's down to the 40. He is finally brought down and buried. Dave Stewart left the bike to defender to bring him down. Mike Riddick. Mark, got a stat for you here. Delaware is really mixing it up as we've been saying here. Right now, they have 101 yards rushing and 84 passes. I mean, that's real balance. Referees are taking the time out here. In the one of the Delaware State Hornets runs off the field. That's number 57, Cordy Greenlee. This is an official timeout to get the player off the field. It's not a legitimate timeout, so we won't take a break, but we're going to get the game back underway right now. Third and four. We'll call it a long four. The ball is at the 40. Good wide right and tight. And Bill Felton is looking for five yards for the first down. Felton is looking, looking. He's under the rest. He's brought down. Great play. That's Deron Robinson with the pursuit from the back side. Good penetration. That's what you got to do because I'm going to tell you something. They had a one-on-one -on -one coverage here. And where you can see it from the top, uh, he's almost dropped that ball, comes in. They blitzed the safety and he made him go outside through the timing off. Nice play by Deron. Tony Mack is back deep for the Bison as Dave Hawkinson has got the punt for Delaware State. Balls at midfield. Good punt from his own 35. About, he gets a low driving punt. It bounces at the 20. Mack picks it up. No, he lets it go. Bouncing around at the 10. It's going to be down at the 10-yard line. First and 10 Bison. 40-yard puck with a nice roll, no return. Delaware State leading the Bison of Howard University, 21-7 with 5.30 left here. 
in the first half. Bison's offense still really to get unsacked. This is another time when they're starting deep in their own territory with the first and ten up the ten. And for Delaware, that's what you want to do. They want to keep them backed up in their own territory so that they have to have long drives. And then you see Ben Blackwell trying to tell Calcone and company to get back in there, you got to do this. Rocky to the deep hit and the Bulls now trying to leave this offense to get something going. Double wide receivers right. The Bulls handing off to Killing. Killing gets up to about the 14 yard line. Marvin White with the tackle for the Hornets. Don't forget tomorrow, the big soccer game. Second round MC2A championship tournament. Howard University Bison right here at Green Stadium hosting Philadelphia Textile, who were first round winners over Navy last week. The Bison with an outstanding top 10 soccer team going after maybe a national championship. Second down and, and eight. Good wide left to Kyle and David. The Bulls is rolling. He is hammered. Big, big, big tackle. That's number 59, Edward James, with a big hit. Here's what he had to do. He had that good wide base. Didn't go for the fancy footwork. The winner and man made the tackle. There's a little general. Okay, come on, coach. You get a better play. It's going to be third and four. The ball is at the 16. They need to play now to get something going. The Bison, of course, are comfortably would like to get some points on the board before the half. 422 left. They trail in this contest. 21 to 7. This is third and four. Killing with the hand up. He's got the first shot, it looks like, across the 20. That's going to be good enough for the first down. Clinton to fail the tackle. That looks like a first and 10. And it is. Howard University offensively really not that much. A 154 yard pass reception for the touchdown to Derek Faison is there all their passing yardage. And they've had 39 yards rushing. That says it right there. That means the Delaware is playing a good defensive game up front. They're causing a lot of stalemates on the defensive line for them. First and 10 ball is just outside the 20. Double wide receivers right at the top of the screen. The Bulls looking to pitch. Now he's going to run it. 25, 30. Still on the feet. 35. All the way down to the 40 and out of bounds. Big keeper by Lee. The Bulls. Big run. And that's good enough for the first down. That's exactly what they wanted. Stop the clock with 334 left here in the half. 21 to 7. Uh, they're trailing Delaware State. Mark Rear out of Hyattsville, Maryland with the tackle. 20 yard gain, that gives them a first and 10 on the 41 yard line, their own 41. I think the little general hurt us up here now, he's starting to take charge, and he's going to try to lead these guys down the field for a touchdown. Charles Lambeck is split wide right, top of the screen, that's John Davis wide left. Killing, the inside handoff, straight ahead, gets all the way down to the 45. Late flag, Martin, they just threw a flag on this play, don't know what it's going to be. Well, this will be the second late flag, and we'll see what the call is. I think it's going to be on Howard. Uh, he was pointing towards one of Howard's receivers. Ah, uh, yeah. Personal foul, and that's the second. They're hurting the big, big right now. Big penalty against Howard University as they had to drive something going here with the big play by Lee DeBose, and now they're going to be put back another 10 yards. Yeah, two penalties, both personal fouls for 30 yards, and they are really hurt because they could tell the ball, ball you have in front of This is your team on offense. Third down, second down, second down. So it's going to be second down. The ball goes all the way back to the 30. Take a look at this. Here we see it. Watch the hand now. That's number 67. And you know that's the All-American Pat Boyd, All-American Canada Pat Boyd. A little bit of frustration there. Second and about 25 at the 30. The ball is trying to pitch, but nowhere to go. He kept it, and probably the wise thing to do is Eric Dines is right there. Dines, a senior out of South Orange, New Jersey. It's going to be third and long. At that time, he had Brunson, the big center, trying to block his quick defensive back. Gave him a little shield move, and then he went in and made the tackle. Good play by the defensive back. 
second and acres, should we say. Miles. <laughs> Almost 30 yards. They have to get the ball down to the 47 yard line of the Hornets for a first down. That draw play. That is top of the end for Schilling. Top of the end of tailback for the first time of the game, and he has to carry, but it's going to be a punning situation as Clinton DeFeo made the tackle, and Howard University is going to have to punt. With 2.14 left here in the first half, they're trailing 21 to 7. Back deep now, Egerton. Of course, is Egerton and Jamal Pettiford. This is Pettiford. Cross the 30. Gives some ground, and he's going to be stopped at the 31 yard line. First and 10. Delaware State leading in this contest 21 to 7 with a minute 57 left here in the first half. They'll have the ball on their own 31. Now certainly if you are uh, on the Bison side in terms of defense, you want to stop them. You don't want them to score any more points before halftime because you want to go in no more than what the score is now and try to regroup. And Darren Felton, of course, would like to put at least maybe a field goal with some more points on the board as they lead this one 21 to 7. Felton now. Seems like more of a Felton looking to pass. Going deep. He's got a man. He is there. That's Mike Rittis. Down to the 35 yard line. He was wide open. Just went down the middle and split the seam. Felton did a good job. Laid the ball up and just let him catch it. Nice call. That was a nice call on first down. Here you see he's faking up the barn that holds everybody. And now he just tosses him. Look, he's wide open. Beautiful throw. Davis over a little late. Anthony Davis out of Bolton, South Carolina, the junior with the tackle, a saving tackle. It's first and ten at the Bison 36 yard line. Inside handoff, Reggie Barnes. How on his way gets close to the 30 yard line. Clock is ticking down a minute 26, but Delaware State's on the move, leading 21-7 to here in the first half. David Stewart with the tackle for the Bison. Nice job by uh, Felton, the quarterback. I mean, he's really doing a good job in terms of guiding Delaware State Hornets at this point. Five-yard pickup, it'll be second and five ballers after 31. Barber with the handoff. It's a reverse. Back to Riddick. Gets outside. He gets down to the 31. There's a flag on the play. Got to be a clip. If somebody was in the back of one of the Howard players, I'm sure this is going to be a clip against the Hornets. Robert Hancock was on the back of the Riddick. There's your indication with the clip. Definitely a penalty for the... Hurt Delaware State and take them out of the territory that was close to a field goal range at that point, but that's going to take them out of field goal range now. And with 40, 48 seconds left, now they have a bunch of yards to make up too. But then Felton is having an outstanding game. Second down, second down. He is fourth for seven passing, 119 yards with one touchdown. It's a great day. I mean, he's having just a great day. This play hands off, it's a reverse. Now he's coming around this end, and you'll see here, right here, right here, he's right in the man's back. That's the clip. So the ball is moved all the way back to the 49 yard line. Second at 21. In motion is Bart. Ball's on the turf. Nelson picks it up, but he's going to be brought down. I mean, he is just. Worn down by Charlie Gibbs. Charles Gibbs out of Montclair, New Jersey, the junior, was right there with Felton bobbled the ball from the staff. It'll be third down. And they lost three yards. It'll be third and 26. Because Reggie Ball is out this time. Split wide left now with Tim Edgerton. He's a big play man. But they hand it off inside. Nowhere to go. That was Herbert White. Charles Garland, James Garland with the tackle. And the Bison call a timeout with seven seconds left. Timeout by the official. Who, who called the timeout? Yeah, timeout. I think it was by Delaware. Yeah. yeah. The Bison would not want to call a timeout. But 
But it is a field down situation. I don't know why they call timeout. I don't know if they're going to try it for one play, throw it into the end zone, and hope for a call. But with seven seconds left, you would think there's not much hope unless they can get it in for a touchdown. But they won't have time to set up for a field goal. That's what he's probably going to do is to go for the long ball play, try to get the ball into the end zone. I mean, the way things have been going so far, you see Coach Ben Black is uh, kind of telling the defense, look, we're going to go in a prevent right now. We don't want to get that big play for a touchdown. I'm sure Howard's going to have people way back in the center field and try to stop this play. Keep everything in front of you, right? Keep everything in front of you. And knock the ball down. Delaware, of course, has no timeout, so they've got to go for the end zone at this point uh, because they would not have time even if they could get a playoff quick enough to set up for a field goal with no timeout. So this will be the final play in the first half. And we know it's going to be, as we call it, the old Phil Mary. They have three wide receivers to the right. Dalton is looking that way, going deep to the right, looking, looking. Anthony Davis is there to break it up, and the ball is down incomplete. And that is the final play of the first half. But Howard University trailing here is Delaware State. As the Bison have come on late, come out of the locker room late, Willie Jeff is obviously talking to his team and asking them to to be more intense, to really want this football game because the Hornets have shown that they want it. They know that they have their own destiny in their hands. If they can win this game, they're certainly going to have at least a share of the NEAC Conference Championship. The Howard University, the Bison have to win to even hope to be in a four-way tie for the Conference Championship. But there is hope. But first, they got to win this game. Hey, old Yogi Berra saying it ain't over until it's over. So we got two quarters of play here. It's 30 minutes of play. Anything can happen in that amount of time. Now, Howard is going to be kicking off for Delaware. What they want to do is Egerton wants to get a good return and give them good field position. Howard has to stop him. And the second half kickoff on the ground, bouncing at the 35, across the 40. All the way down to the 40-yard line. So Delaware State will take over on offense first and 10. And the ball is right at the 40-yard line. Not bad field position for them. Bison, of course, defensively haven't played that bad. Uh, they've given up a couple of drives, but then their offense has kept the defense on the field a lot. And in, and in the hole. And in the hole. Darren Felton has done an excellent job on as the quarterback of the Hornets. He's a junior out of Plainfield, New Jersey. Reggie Barnes is the quarterback. That's Murray in motion. Barnes straight ahead, nowhere to go. And obviously, right off the bat, we can see that the Bison are going to be determined to take away that inside running, the lanes that Reggie Barnes seemed to be picking up. Ron Wilson with the tackle. In order to be successful this half, they're going to have to stop Delaware's running game. They had success in the first half, and they're going to go with Barnes number 30, and they're going to tell Howard, you got to stop us. Pick up of one yard, so it'll be second and nine. Ball at the 41-yard line. That's Tim Egerton, stood wide left. He's number 82. That's Felton rolling out. He is wide open. He's going to run it across midfield. 45, 40, 35, still on the feet. Finally brought down at the 54-yard line. Big day. He's having a big day. John Robinson with the tackle, but he made a fake handoff to John Barber. Yes, you called it, Martin. He faked it. Now he's looking for Egerton downfield. He's already cleared it out. The lanes are wide open, as you can see. He takes it up in there, gets as much as he can, and Darren comes on and makes the tackle. Nice play by Darren Felton. First and 10 Hornets at the 34-yard line of the Bison. Barnes is the fullback. There's Barber in motion. Fullback, handoff, straight ahead. He fouls his way, picks up maybe three yards. Robin Ward with the tackle inside. This wing tee is usually a lot of trap plays, trying to sweep. They'll try to either get it going inside or sweep the outside. They, as you pointed out, have been done an excellent job of keeping the Howard University defense a little bit off balance. Great job of doing that. This, this kid Felton is really having a big game today. Second and eight at the 32-yard line. Double wide receivers left, bottom of the screen. That's Reggie Barnes. 
Not much room. He is running in traffic. He picked up maybe two yards. Robert Hancock in on the tackle. Thomas Jones was also there. It'll be third down, and we'll call it a five. Third and five. Ball is at the 29-yard line. Big down here. Delaware has the ball in good field position. The Bison must hold here to have any hopes of trying to make a comeback. And this kid, Barnes, I mean, he's really rolling. He has 16 carries for 81 yards. Let's see if they go to him this play. Yeah, an inside hand out to Barnes. Cross the 35, 20, 15, 10. He's going to score a touchdown. 29 yard touchdown run. Reggie Barnes. And you call that one. Hey, I tell you something. It went right to him. And it went to him, but the bottom line was a lot of arm tackling him. So you see, Barnes just takes that step, boom. He comes up in there. Two missed tackles right here. Safety comes over. Bad angle. Took the wrong angle. Anthony Davis comes off. He's out of position. And he just walks into the end zone. Nice play by number 30, Barnes. Good blocking at the point of attack by Delaware State. David Barkett, Bond now there, over 100 yards rushing. He looks good on this play too, hey. Good cut here, good cut here. Davis is out of it, he just goes through, walks into the end zone. He's over 100 now. He's got 110 yards rushing. And David Parkinson is in to kick the point after. And suddenly, the Bison now know they're in for a real dog fight. Parkinson's kick is up, and it's good. 1226 left here in the third quarter. Delaware State has taken a 28-7 lead with the Bison of Howard University. Off that 29-yard touchdown run by Reggie Bond. Let's take a break, and we'll be back with more third quarter action after this break. Trailing 28-7 as Delaware State is set to kick off. Clint Ramsey is the lone deep back. John Javis is up about the 25-yard line for Howard University. As they're expecting Parkinson to keep the ball on the turf the way they're set up. Now Davis shifts back deep, and he goes deep. It's Ramsey at the 5. He's across the 10. Got ahead of steam. He's going to be brought out of bounds as he will get across the 20-yard line. There's a flag down. Twelve seventeen left here in the third quarter. Howard University trailing Delaware State. Delaware State just to finish the five-play, 60-yard drive. The penalty looks like it's going to be against the Bison. And that drive was capped by a 29-yard touchdown run by Reggie Barnes. Barnes has run for 110 yards on 17 carries. The penalty is against the Bison. This is going to put them back deep and set up. There's a blue team on the run back, first and ten, first and ten. So instead of a first and ten at the 20, it's going to be a first and ten at the 10. Really, they're really putting themselves in a hole here. Delaware is really pumped up. They came out, took the ball down the field, scored. That's the way you want to open the second half. Let them know that you're ready. Now, Jeffrey's here. You can see a little concern here. He's saying to his team, hey, we've got to get something on track here. They have very poor field position. John Davis split wide right to the bottom of the screen. That is Charles Lambert to the left. He is the left end. Killings is the field back. That's Killings. And he gets all the way up to the 15-yard line. Five-yard pickup. Reggie Johnson with the stop for Delaware State. Johnson out of Cleveland, Ohio. Trey Williams Sutton is in the ball game now, the one wide receiver. He joins John Javis. Second and five. The other way State's defense is up close to the line. The Bowles trying to sweep. Nowhere to go. He takes it up, picks up maybe a couple of yards. That's Corey Belton out of Orange, New Jersey with the tackle. He's a sophomore. They had eight men up on the line that time. First, they think that they were going to blitz the defensive back. He pulled out of the last minute, but they still had eight men on the line. So it's going to be third and four. They're just about daring 
the Bison to pass the football, putting that many men up on the line. But they're changing their defense and trying to give Lee DeVos a different look. Third and four. Ball is at the 17-yard line. And this is a timeout, official timeout. And they're trying to get something straight. Let's see, we're going to go over here. Going to the sideline now, just to speak to the time. Is that it? The time? No. Oh, they're asking the band to cool it. <laughs> the band is having a little bit over exuberant. As he, he's asking them to chill out a little bit, huh? Couldn't hear his signals. They wanted to hold it down so the players could hit his signals on the field. Well, that's the Howard University band. That's the Howard University offense. <laughs> Third and four in the 17. The Bulls have dropped the killing. He's got a first down. He's still going. Stop the 40, 45, midfield, down to the 40, still on his feet, all the way down to the 32-yard line. And no flag on the play. That's the biggest offensive play on the ground for the Bison this game. Reggie Jackson with the tackle. For Delaware State. They're blocking up front and uh, Killers just popped through there and just took it up field and tried to get as much as he could. And he nice. got a lot. He got a lot. Nice run back here. Nice run. All the way down to the 30, inside the 32 yard line of the Hornets. And that was a play that maybe can ignite the Howard University offense. Charles Lambeck and John Davis are the wide receivers. That is Davis to the right, Lambeck to the left. Shifting now is killing to the deep back. And all that motion you know, we're going to have a procedure penalty against the Bison. A lot of shifting and motion in that time is caught up with them. Looks like they're going to have a run bar. Good ball. First ball. Offense. First down. First down. Again, as I said earlier, coming to get the first half, you know, you only know the snap count. So it's kind of difficult to, to, to jump. And here we see that play run back again. Killing goes up, good blocking by Tap Boyd up front. Now he's on speed. If he had some more speed here, he could have scored in this play because he did pop free. Did pop free, and he gets as much as he can. He's fighting this man for some yardage. Inside handoff, that's James Crawford on the first 15 at the 37 yard line. Crawford in the game now. And that was Gregory Johnson out of Washington, D.C., a sophomore, 60 out of the with the tackle. Greg Killings now is back in the game as Carpenter came in for his second carry of this football game. Howard so far has been penalized four times for 45 yards. In crucial situation is that. Second and about 12. And John Davis with wide left. Killings is the deep back. Spin move by DeBose. He's going to get outside. He's inside the 30, gets all the way down to about the 27. Eric Dines with the tackle for Delaware State. It'll be third down. Third and six. This is a big series. They need points. They must get the first down and ultimately try to get this ball into the end zone. They need points. Trailing 28-7 and with 8.54 left here in the third quarter, or already a big play for the Howard University offense. Third and six of the 28. The goes hand off the killing. He fights his way down to the 35. He's going to be shy of a first down. Is this four down territory for them? Will they go for it? No question. No question about it. I'm sure that they will go for it. Marvin Bright with the tackle defensively for Delaware State in that last play. You're right, Johnny. They're going to go for it. Fourth and four. They've got to get the ball down to the 21-yard line for a first down. Ball is at the 30. I'm sorry, at the 25. Fourth and four. Ball at the 25. The Bulls looking to kick. This is back to Killing, and he is stopped. Nowhere to go. They're all over him. James Crawford in the game for Killing, and he had nowhere to go, trying to go wide, and they ran to the short side of the field. Really defense to well by Delaware State. They put the man out to the pitch, put the man on the quarterback, nowhere to go. Good defensive play. Well, this crowd is having a great time, even though Willie Jeffries on the sideline, you know, is wondering when is this offense going to get on track. Delaware State takes over. 
first and 10 on their own 32 yard line. They're leading in this contest 28 to 7. That's Reggie Barnes. They're going to see a lot of him, no doubt, here in the second half for the 28 to 7 Delaware State lead. Pick up a three. It'll be second and seven, the ball at the 35. Talking that time was by number 93, Bruce Dickerson, the held only for a short game. Delaware, as you said, you see Killings on the phone now, talking to the folks upstairs, trying to find out what they can do to get on track offensively. Delaware, on the other hand, their offense is moving pretty well. Dan Dalton, quarterback. This is the three, going wide. That's Mike Riddick. Riddick is close to a first down. Darren Robinson with the tackle. It's going to be third and maybe short about a yard for a first down. Let's see what they, how they mark it. And Mike Riddick was able to get outside. They're going to call for a measurement. Oh, it's an injured player. David Jones, a junior out of Hillside, New Jersey, looking off the field. And this is a call down out and now finding back in. Well, this is close to a first down. And they're going to bring the chains on and see if it is, in fact, the first down. But so far, it looks like Delaware State, the Hornets, have just really kept their intensity from the first half. They've come out here in the second half and shown that they didn't have any drop-off at all. Yeah, they, they've let that intensity carry over. Now they have a first down again, and they're going to just, as you said earlier, Martin, they're going to run the ball. They're going to force Howard to stop them. They're not going to stop themselves. They're saying to the Titans, you can't stop our running game. First and ten, ball at the 42-yard line. Martin, inside handoff, Reggie Barnes bounces away, gets outside. He's across this field, 45, and a flag is down on the play. Flag on the play, but he got all the way inside Howard University territory down to the 43 yard line. Hey, we'll see what the call is on the play, but it looks like it's going back. They're already marching the Delaware State Hornets offense back. It's a holding call against Delaware. I'm pretty sure of that. We'll wait for the official signal here, and I think it's a holding call against Delaware. Well, that was a big break for the Bison defense. Holding, offense, first down, first down. That puts them back on the 30-yard line instead of being inside Howard University territory at the 45. So it's going to be first down and 23. Let's see if we can see the holding here on this play. I think he's calling right here. He's calling uh, he's holding number 26, man. But so that was a, a nice run. Uh, it's too bad the holding call was at the end of the play because Barnes did a good job to get it where he was. First and about 23. Ball now is on the 30. First and 23. In motion, it's Riddick. Hand off inside. That's John Barber. Into the traffic, he picked up a couple of yards. Ryan Caltone on the tackle. Six oh one left here in the third quarter. Delaware State leading in this contest, twenty eight to seven. The Bison off defense trying to get the ball back to their offense and put some points on the board and get back into this football game. It'll be second and twenty, a long twenty. Darren Phelps, the next quarterback, hand up inside, Reggie Bond. They keep running that trap play, and they're going to run that all day. They're going to run it until they learn to stop it. Marty Gray on the tackle. The ball's up to the 34 yard line. It's going to be third and 19. Big third down play here, Martin. You got to watch for that same pass play that they've been running. But then, the way they've been mixing things up, you don't know if they're going to run it or pass because they pretty much have things going their way right now. Third and 19, the ball's on the 34 yard line. He's been double wide receiver, right? The wing back on the right side is Mike Riddick. 
Nelson is looking to pass. He rolls outside, throws in out of bounds. It's complete. It'll be a punting situation as Dave Parkinson will come in the game. Jamal Pettiford was the intended receiver. Pettiford incomplete and out of bounds. And you never know if this team was behind. Look at the fans. They're having a party. Yeah, they're having big fun in the stands. You know, coming in this game, Felton has thrown 12 interceptions. He hasn't thrown one today. I don't think he's made a bad decision on any of his pass plays. He's having, as I said earlier, a real good game. Tony Mack is back deep for the Bison. I don't know why uh, John Davis is not back, but uh, Mack is back deep. And it's a drive and cut by Vargas, and Mack takes it up to 20. Just up, 25. Now he's across the 25, down to about the 29-yard line. The Bison will take over. First and 10 on their own 29, 438 left here in the third quarter. Well, they've got to start getting something going offensively. So far, they just haven't been able to generate any consistent offensive thing going at all. And that, that last punt went to 44 yards, return of eight yards by Tony Mack. Davis is in the game. He is put wide left, top of the screen, with Troy Kyle. That killing is the deep back. The Bulls looking to pass. Going back, got a man, complete, that's Jimmy Johnson. He is fighting his way across the 35, down to about the 33 yard line. Elvis Hines with the tackle, Hines out of Kent Island, Maryland. Hines looked like he had that play covered pretty good. At the last split second, Jimmy Johnson just stepped in there, took that ball, and made a nice reset. Here you see, he fakes up in the middle there to hold the linebackers. Now he tosses up to his tight end. That's good coverage. Looks like Hines has a better eye on the ball than Johnson. But Johnson goes in between him and the ball and makes a nice catch. This kid Johnson is really strong. Big play, first and 10, ball at the 34 yard line. Bison on the move. The ball handing off the killing. Straight up the middle, picked up a yard, maybe two. Greg Parsley with the tackle for Delaware State. I mean, he, he came into that hole and put the lever on the, on the ball carry. We can see the intensity is picked up for the Howard University offense. The, the, the pace has even picked up. The Bulls now send wide right John Davis and Troy Kyle. Killing is the tailback. It's second and eight. Ball's up to 32. The Bulls. Rolling. He's across the 30, 45, all the way down to the 20 yard line. Reggie Johnson with the tackle. That's good enough for the first down. First and 10 Bison. Now, this is the offense that we've been accustomed to see. They're generating it now. This is a nice read by DeVos here. He takes it up in the middle there, takes it outside, brings it up there. Now he's going to cut back across the grain and try to get as much yard as he possible. That was a saving tackle there. Got to catch this in for points now. First and 10, the ball up the 22 yard line. Jimmy Johnson shifts over to the right side. Troy Cowles is hitting wide left. Inside handoff, nowhere to go. Across the 20. Pick up of maybe two yards. Yeah, they're picking it up a little bit in terms of the rushing game here. You see now Killings is over, over 100 yards. He has 16 carries for exactly 100. The Bulls has eight carries for 24. They got to cash in on this drive for points. Clinton Bethea in on the tackle of Tony Mack on that one. Pick up for two yards. Make it three yards. We'll say it's second and seven. Ball at the 19. Spin move, nice spin move by Killings. He gets all the way inside the 20, close to the 15-yard line, maybe about the 17. Eric Dines with the tackle for Delaware State as Killings goes off the field and then comes Carpenter. Good spin move by number 34, Craig Killings, to get in there and get enough yards for the first down. Nice move. First and 10 Bison, ball up the 17 yard line. They just about a half to convert this one, although there's still time, 201 left here in the third quarter. But what they have generated so far in offense, you would think that they would have to convert something here because this is their first really sustained drive in the whole football game. You're right, they need points. Good wide right for John Davis. Trey William Sutton is in the ball game. That's the other wide receiver. The Bulls cuts it up. Across the five. 
side. He's going to score. Touchdown, standing up. 17-yard touchdown run. The little general, Lee the Bowes. The Bison have put up six on the scoreboard with a minute 38 left here in the third quarter. Go for two. Go for two. I go for two. <laughs> you need it. Two scores. Nice play by the Bowes here. You see he goes up. Good fake here. Overruns the play to Delaware. Delaware defender there. Mark Ware. Ware. That's right. He just bounces outside, takes it on the end zone. The Bowes made Mark Ware miss. Mark Ware out of Hyattsville, Maryland. And Gary Mocker was in for the point after. And it's good. Go. With a minute 38 left here in the third quarter, Howard University has driven Lee DeVos cap that drive with a 17-yard touchdown, so they have cut the Delaware State the State lead to only 14 points. Howard trailing Delaware State, 28-14. We'll be right back with more action after this. WHMN TV 32 is all about you. Big Stadium. As Gary Mossop is set to kick off for Howard University, they have cut the Delaware State lead to 28 to 14. Back deep for Delaware State, Tim Egerton and Reggie Barnes. Mossop with the kick on the ground, bounces. And that's Barnes. Got to 25, 30, 35, and he is finally wrestled down at about the 36 yard line. That was a six play, 71 yard scoring drive by the Bison of Howard University, and Lee DeBose took it the final 11 yards with a touchdown. They need a big defensive stand here now to try to end the third quarter. The defense must come up with some big plays. 19-yard return by Reggie Barnes. The ball is outside the 35-yard line, first and 10. Hornets for Delaware State. Darren Felton has done an outstanding job. Quarterback. The Hornets team. That's John Barber. Getting outside, spinning his way, gets all the way up to the 42-yard line. Pick up the seven. James Moore with the tackle. Moore out of Georgetown, South Carolina. Junior, 6'1", 310, nose guard. That's a big man. That's a big man. That time they had boys on the lead block at a fullback, so they're taking turns now, mixing up, keeping a fresh man with the ball. Second down, ball is across the 41, almost to the 42-yard line. Now, it's a good ball. Sets it back. Fights his way. He gets down to about the 44-yard line. Robert Ward with the tackle for the Bison. Ward of Junior. He's out of Trenton, New Jersey. He's a 62-60 junior. It's going to be third and three. Ball's at the 44-yard line. Give it to your best spot, see what he can do. That would be number 30, huh? Yes, he are. But that's deep this time, it's Mike Murray. Along with Bob. Boy, big hit. Felton gets outside, he's got the first down, and he's still rolling. Inside the 45, all the way down to about the 43 yard line. Walter Price with the tackle, tries to corner that. A freshman took a page down of the Bison book. He, he took the ball down the line of scrimmage. You see here, comes out, Barnes is in motion, and he's going to take it down, Felton that is, going down. Hancock goes with Barnes, so Felton turns it up. He has the first down now, just to try to get as much yard as he can. Nice call, good run. Well, that is the end of the third quarter. And Delaware State is on the move. They lead in this contest 28 to 14 at the Bison of Howard University. And you know, in any sport, proper training and conditioning are necessary to prevent injuries or proper care if an athlete has been hurt. Now we've had an opportunity to talk with Gregory Ford. He's the medical director of the Howard University Medical Sports Center. Stadium as we start the fourth quarter. Howard University trailing Delaware State 28-14. Delaware State with a first and 10 ball on a Howard University 43-yard line. They're on the move. And off. That's John Barber. Barber sweeps and gets about four yards on the play. So Howard University now is really in for a test. The final quarter here of the regular season. 
and they've got an uphill battle, trailing 14 points to the Hornets. That's right, you can see Coach Jeffries looking on very intently. He's looking for his defense to rise to the occasion. They must stop the Hornets from getting into the end zone on this drive. Second and seven ball is at the 40-yard line. Swift wide right is Mike Whitaker. He's number 12. Wide left is Tim Edgerton. In motion is Murray. That's Barnes, the fullback. Boy, the push. Charlie Gibbs there on the tackle for the Bison, but you could see the push by the Hornets offensive line went back three yards before anybody even met him. That's a good point. I mean, that Hornet offensive line is really getting off the ball. They've been getting off the ball well all day, basically. They are blocking good up front and just trying to get as much as they can to keep the clock running. It'll be third and three. The ball's at the 37-yard line. Big play for the Bison defense. If they can stop and hold here, they can get the ball back for their offense, and maybe they can cut into that 14-point Delaware State lead. Darren Felton, the quarterback for Delaware State, he's gone all the way. In motion, with Mike Murray. Here's Barnes. Barnes is hammered and knocked out of bounds, and it's going to be close to a first down. It looks like the mark has it. First down, Delaware State. Marty Graves and Sean Van Horst knocked Reggie Barnes out of bounds, but he is a load. Hey, he comes around that corner. Reggie Barnes has good leverage. He lays that shoulder in to take the pressure, and so he doesn't really feel the whole lot from that hit. Pick up a six yards. That keeps their drive going. First and ten. Hornet. Ball close to the 31-yard line of Howard University. Barnes has 130 yards rushing in this football game, and most of it is inside work. Real work for Barnes again, trying to get outside, he's going to be blocked down. Fine, outstanding tackle, Guy Duke out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, the senior, came up and made the big play for the Bison. Loss of a yard. Well, that time they were able to hold Reggie Barnes for a loss. You must stop him before he gets rolling. Martin, when he gets rolling, as you said, he's a load. Time is ticking down, and now that is going to be a factor. So the Bison are going to have to score two times to win this football game. And, of course, the point after. The point after with a two-point conversion could win it for them if they can hold the Delaware State offense. Yeah, that is the that's key. the key. That's the key. They have to stop Delaware. Okay. Second and 11. Delton kicks oh, the ball. ball. Big play. He's going to be brought down all the way back. They're going to give him his progress now to the 48-yard line. And that was Thomas Jones, the safety, who was in on it. Big play. One thing about this play, this shows you when things are going your way, the ball bounced right back up into Felton's hands. And we'll see this here. He goes back, boom, he bumps him, till he kicks the ball. The white just fall bouncing right back up in his head. When things are going well, that's the way it goes. He bumped into John Barber, his wingback, who was in motion, or setting up the block for him, and that knocked the ball out of his hands. But Thomas Jones is right there with the big play. The ball now is on the 48-yard line of the Hornets. They have to get all the way down to the 22-yard line for a first down. This is their third down. Felton with the draw play inside the barn. Nowhere to go. He gets the cross this field down to about the 49. And Charles Gibbs with the tackle. Gibbs the junior out of Mount Clare, New Jersey. Hunting situation for Delaware State. And you can see the level pick up of intensity pick up for the Bison on that one big play. They say, hey, we're back in the ball game. And it's still everybody's game. It's like they're going to stop the time. It's official time now. Now, they want to get a good punt here and try to pin Howard back in uh, deep territory here and cover this punt. Howard needs a good run back to set up punt. Back deep for Howard University is Tony Mack. And the punter is David Parkinson. He is an excellent punter with a 40.3 yard average. For Delaware State. So he's one of the best in the country. Tony Mack is back deep at his own 15 yard line. High snap. Parkinson gets it off. And the ball takes a bounce that you would have to say went you know, a little bit in Howard University's favor. Ball is dead at the 16 yard line. Not great field position, but they have had it work. 33 yard punt with no return. Now they need to take this ball the full 84 yards down the field and get some points. 
be at three or seven, preferably seven. Now you have a test of character to see how well the Bison can respond under pressure. 11-14 left here in the football game. Howard University trailing 28-14. Split wide left to the bottom of your screen is John Davis, number four, and Charles Lambert. Jimmy Johnson is up at the right. That's right in. This is the goal. Handoff inside. Spinning. Nowhere to go. Pick up with maybe two yards. A lot of traffic. Marvin Bright. Linebacker with the tackle for Delaware State. That is one hundred that has done a lot of spinning today. He's got a solid very narrow one. Delaware is always the known for its outstanding linebacker for uh, this team no exception. Great play by the linebackers today. Second down at the 18-yard line. Willie Jeffries is throwing his offense to get it going. The ball looking to pass. Intended for linebacker, almost picked up. That was number 20, Mark Hare. Came up to make the play. That one really was closer to where than it was to Lambert. He was a little behind the receiver. They were fortunate on that play. Could have been another turnover. over would have had the ball in a good field position. Here we see the post goes back. Fakes to try to hold the linebackers in. Now he crosses out there. And you can see defensive back a good, good position there. And he just has to drop. Third and eight. Ball is at the 18. Double wide receivers to the left. That's Lambeck and Jager. Handoff is inside the killer. It's a draw. He's got the first down. Cross the 35 all the way down to the 40 yard line. To the 41 and out of bounds. Elvis Hines with the tackle knocking. Killings out of bounds. First and ten, Bison on the 41, though. Big play. Big play, man. They're picking it up. They know what they must do with this drive. This is a big drive. Killing, showing, hey, determination. We need yardage. We're going to take this ball on the field. Just pop through there and get you up for the first down. Starting to rain again. It was, had stopped a little bit at the, during the halftime, but now it's starting to come down a little bit more. First and ten, ball at the Bison's 41, 40 yard line. The Bulls looking to pass. Got his man. Jimmy Johnson across the field down to the 49. That's another first down. Mark Webb with a tackle for the Hornets. Little slant pattern across the middle with that big tight end. That's where the tight end is size of Jimmy Johnson, 6'3", 240. Get exactly where he's supposed to be. Slide in between the seams. Good pass by the Bulls. First down. First and 10, John Javis has stood wide left at the bottom. The man is just, hey, let's pick it up. Charles Lambeck has stood wide right. The Bulls looking to pass. Locked the deep. Going for Jimmy Johnson. He's got it. Inside the 15, all the way down to the 14 yard line. Great catch by Jimmy Johnson. Mark Winner on the coverage, along with Elvis Hines for the Hornets. Hey, this guy, Jimmy Johnson, I mean, he just continues to make play after play after play. Nice pass by the Bulls. Big catch by Jimmy Johnson. Put him in good field position. Here you see he fakes again, trying to hold these linebackers. Good pass protection. Let's the ball go. A nice pass here. Jimmy Johnson on a nice pattern. Stretches out. Makes the grab. First down. I mean, look at this. I mean, he has his eyes on the ball all the way and just makes a nice jump. Well-timed. Nice catch. Big play. Timeout on the field. And a play that they needed as the offense is huddling on the side. They are trying to go. Look it. Complete. Jimmy Johnson inside the five. That's going to be close to a first down at the four-yard line. Mark Ware on the coverage. A big Jimmy Johnson making the big plays for the Bison. And here you see the boys reverse pivot. Comes out. Stops. Nice play, just let the go there, Johnson wide open, catches the ball, he's backing up, so he can't regain his footing here, makes the grab, however, and looks like it's going to be close, it's going to be just shy, it looks like it's going to be inches shy, it's fourth and inches, the ball is at the four yard line, big call here, they've got to go about six inches for a first down. The ball, thank you, he's got the first down, first to go Bison. The ball's going to the left side. Pat Boyd, go where Pat Boyd is. That big, big uh, offensive guard, number 67. This went by Boyd. We're between he and the tackle. Got enough for the first down. First and goal, Bison at the two-yard line. 
Chip challenges the deep back. The Bulls hands it off inside. That was Anthony Scott in a fullback. Scott with really nowhere to go in traffic gets it down to maybe actually no game. It's going to be third and goal at the two. Willie Jeffries said, hey, straight ahead. Get up the touchdown. Third, second and goal, I'm sorry, at the two. Bison need a score here. They're trailing 28-14 with 7.40 left here in the contest. A touchdown here will put them back in the game. That's right, a lot of time left, too. A lot of time left. You know, there's a lot at stake here, and I'm sure the boys want to get these guys in the end zone and try to down the score somewhere. Straight ahead. The ball looks like he's got a touchdown here. And it on the scoreboard with 7.30 left here in the game. They would have cut this margin with the point after. They would have cut this margin for seven points. Who do you think he went behind that time? The Bulls? You know where Pat Boyd is, number 67. Here you see the Bulls blocking the signals and just goes right behind Pat Boyd, big number 67. You can see he just blocked his man in the end zone. He just had his on his back. Good blocking touchdown. Gary Mossop is in the game for the point after to cut the lead to seven. Yep. And it's good. Bison now has cut the lead of Delaware State to seven. They trail 28 to 21. That was a 10 play, 84 yard drive. We're going to take a break and we'll be back with the Howard University kickoff right after this. Five for Delaware State. Across the 20, 25, 30. Still on the feet, finally out of bounds. At the 37 yard line. That was a 10 play, 84 yard scoring drive by the Bison. As now Delaware State leads this contest 28 to 21. That was a 33 yard return by Reggie Barnes. But now the Delaware State offense knows that they got to keep this football a while to try to take some time off the clock and protect that seven point lead. It's like they had the same chance the Bison had in their last year. They want to run the ball and but time off the clock. Bites and must stop and beat them. Delaware State has only thrown one pass in the second half. Maybe they got a little bit too conservative. But Bison are coming back. This is Reggie Barnes sweeping outside. And he's gone all the way down to the 24 yard line. Deron Robinson with the tackle. Hey, this kid Barnes has really had a good day. You know, he and Kelly are fighting for the MEAC Russian title. Prior to that run, Kelly's had 22 tags for 139 yards. Barnes, on the other hand, had 24 for 123. And I think he just added a few more to his total. That's about a seven yard pickup there, so it's going to be second and a long three. Ball on the 44 yard line. Delaware State. This time, Barnes is still on the wing back. He goes in motion. Dalton is the quarterback. Handoff is inside. That's John Barber. Barber is close to a first down. And it is the first down at the 49 yard line. James Moore in tackle for the Bison. First and 10, Delaware State. Bison defense asked to sit them. They want to get the ball to their offense so they can tie this football game or possibly go ahead with a two point conversion on the point after. 6.24 left here in the contest. They trail 28 to 21. And the Hornets on the move on offense with a first and 10 on their own 49 yard line. Nothing would be better than a turnover right now. Bison need to score the turnover or at least stop them from getting the first down. Jim Edgerton, good wide left. That's inside, handoff, big run. At least in traffic, that's Mike Murray. Delon Robinson with the tackle. Pick up a three, it'll be second and seven. There's an injured player there. I don't know, it's just Mark, Mike Murray getting up a little bit late. Murray out of New Jersey is 5'9", but he's 200 pounds. Tough kid, tough kid. Ball's at the 48-yard line of the Bison. Second and seven. Tim Edgerton is good wide left, top of the screen. John Barber is the wing back. Hands off, sweeping. That's Riddick. 
And he gets all the way down to the 41 yard line. Galan Robinson again with the tackle. That's close to a first down. We'll see where the mark is, but it's going to be real close. The referees recognize it's close. They're going to call to bring the teams all the way across the field to see. Hey, that offensive line, they, they pulled the guys from the left side. They came around there and had some good blocking to see if they could get enough yards for the first down. Good blocking up front by Delaware. Howard, as you said, had to strip in here and try to stop the momentum of Delaware State. Only one pass in the second half, and it's obvious that Delaware State says, hey, we're going to protect that 21-point lead, which is now only a 7-point lead. Riddick, Mike Riddick has four carries, and he's done it for three first downs. So his carries are really critical carries, and big plays for Delaware State. Big plays. He must and ten. This is a big drive for them. I mean, it's the thing now is to milk the clock, and as it kicks down to so close to five minutes, they're doing their job. The Bison must fit them and hold. First and ten, they're set up now in a straight deep. With Barnes the fullback. That's Barnes, straight ahead, plowing his way. Barnes, straight ahead, blocking. He picked up three yards. This will be second and seven. Robert Ward on the tackle. Second and seven now. Clock is ticking down under five minutes. It's 430 left here in the football game. Howard University trailing Delaware State 28-21 with the MEAC championship possibly on the line on the result of this game. Either team could win or have a share of the NEAC championship with a victory here. Big side for Delaware State. Second and seven, the ball at the 38. That's Reggie Barnes. Nowhere to go this time. Picked up a yard. That's about it. Brian Palcone. Such a Howard University calling a timeout. That's a good timeout. Good timeout because right now, you're not necessarily playing Delaware. You're playing the clock. So they call a timeout because they need time for the offensive team to get the ball back. Now, you got third and long. you got to get a good defensive stand. I'm sure Coach Jeffries and Coach Black will tell the players, hey, look, we got to stop and get the ball back to our offense. That was a good timeout. Good coaching was there and a long six. They have to get the ball all the way down to the 31 for a first down. And so far in this game, the big play guy that they've had is number 30, Reggie Barnes, the fullback. But of course, he does mostly inside running. He's gained 148 yards on the day. And in his battle with, with killing, Killings had a conference championship for the conference rushing championship well, Killings with 133 yards rushing. So far, no bonds is winning, but it's nip and suck. There's a lot more football to be played here. Well, Martin, like we said at the top of the show, both of these teams have a good rushing offense, and they've given us everything you want to see from each player today. Well, this will be a big play, defensively and offensively. Defensively for the Bison, and offensively for Delaware State. Third and a long six. Ball is at the 40, we'll call it the 43 yard line, I'm sorry, the 38 yard line. They need to get the ball down to, let's say, the 31. Belton has Barnes, the lone setback, in motion with third. Inside, hand off to Barnes. He's got the first down. He's down inside the 30. First and 10, Thomas Jones with the tackle for the Bison, but that is a first and 10, Delaware State. Big first down, good blocking up front. I mean, Barnes just lowered his head and went there, and he got everything they wanted from him. Now, here we're going to see this play. He comes back, they straight hand off. He's looking at that blocking up front. Good blocking up there. He goes in as a hand tackle. He just breaks through from that. And now, hey, he says, I know I gotta go beyond that 30 yard line so I get the first down. And he does just that. First down for the Hornets. First down, Hornets ball just inside the 30 yard line. They have rushed for 218 yards against the Bikes today. Hand off inside again to Barnes. Whistle was blown. That play was blown there before it started. Probably too much time. To see what they're doing there. They're using every second that's available in trying to milk the clock. That was an illegal procedure call. It goes against the Hornets, but as you pointed out, they don't really care about the penalty. They just want to keep the football. 
Go fast, play offense, first down, first and 15, first and 15. So they just want to keep the football and the clock going. First and 15, ball is at the 35 yard line. Delaware State leading in this contest, 28 to 21. If they can win this game, they'll have a share of the NBAC championship. Looking for a share of the conference title. Maybe to win it outright. And off, Barnes inside. He's wrestling, brought down. Picked up for maybe two yards. Now the Bison are going for the football. Tackled by Deron Robinson and Guy Troop. Trying to strip the football away from Reggie Barnes. Another timeout called by Howard, trying to get the strategy in there to hey, They're playing the clock. It's no longer Delaware. You got to play the clock. This is the eighth play of this drive by Delaware State, and that has been critical for them. They have been able to keep the football with about six minutes, 6:30 left in the game. They got the football, and now it's three oh three left in the football game, and they have a second and about 14. They're playing possession football. The name of the game now is possession football. Howard needs to cause a turnover. Now, this, I think it's like second and 13 now. They need a big play, big penetration from this off the defensive line. They say they're going to keep the ball on the ground. So you got to strip the ball carry. That's why you see them now grabbing for the ball. So far in this drive, as you pointed out, that the clock is what they were playing. Delaware State has kept the ball four minutes and 19 seconds away from the offense from Howard University. I want to thank the people, uh, our staff man, who's done an outstanding job, Norman Simmons, he's the guy who gives us all the information so we can have this broadcast. Maxine Lewis is Sports Information Director for Delaware State, of course, Ed Hill, and Jesse Barton, the Sports Information uh, Director, Ed Hill, and his assistant at Howard University. Second down, and 14, the ball is after 34. 3-0-3 left in the football game, Delaware State leading 48-14. That's Reggie Barnes again, straight ahead, all the way down to the 25. Jordan Moore of his power, David Westbrook with the tackle. 28-21 is the score. <laughs> Delaware State leading Howard University by seven points. Howard needs the football to get a touchdown and maybe go for the two-point conversion to win it. That's what it's going to take. Let me tell you, Reggie Barnes, he's showing a lot of courage. He's picking his hole. He gets the ball, he goes to the hole, he looks where his tackles are, which means he has good vision on the field, and he's just getting enough. Now it's third, and about six, they got to stop him. Third and six, the ball is after the play six. And a timeout is called again. Too much time. Aha! Uh -huh. So then Delaware State will take the penalty, not a timeout and call. In fact, they need to get it in third down, third down. They'll take that five yards. The milk off, as you pointed out, as much time off the clock as possible. It's 2.21 left in the contest. Howard is trailing by seven points. Delaware State has the football and the lead at 28-21. It's going to be third and 11. Ball is at the 31-yard line. Darren Felton has gone all the way quarterback to Delaware State. He's done an outstanding job along with his good fullback, number 30, Reggie Barnes. And he hands it to Barnes. Barnes has nowhere to go. Big James Moore meets him right there in the hole in the nose guard. Good play by James Moore, number 55. No secret to what they were going to do on that play. Hey, they run it. Consistently, when you see more nice play, look at the penetration. He was already three yards into the backfield. Good play by Moore to make the stop. Big 300 pounder. And he'll be back next year. Well, Delaware State is not bringing the punter on the field as of yet. So with a fourth and about 15, it looks as if there's a little bit of confusion as far as Delaware State is concerned. How many men do they have in the field? They still don't have a punter on. Now they get their punter on the field. They had about eight players on the field. And they're going to take the five-yard penalty. Why not? They're Why not? It doesn't mean it's already anyway. Actually, what the five-yard penalty does, it gives them a little more real estate. And they're going to try to kick it to one of these quarters and they're down the ball into the pen. Off that. Fourth down. Fourth down. Well, that tells you. Howard University is going to get the football back with about a minute 30 left. And that is going to be a real test for the Howard University offense. Tony Mack is back deep, hoping for a return. 
to maybe get his team in some good field position. Well, they're kicking the ball to the sideline. He's not going to get a run back, I don't think. David Parkinson, his job is to kick it away from Tony Mack, maybe kick it in a corner and kick it out of bounds. Parkinson is back to punt. The punt rushes on for the Bison. He's got time. He kicks it high. Mack calls for the fair catch, lets it bounce at the 10, and it's going to be down inside the five-yard line. I mean, just as I said, they were going to try to down the ball inside the 10. You pretty much know that. You pretty much know that. See, on a play like this, if you're not going to really get a big rush and try to block the punt, you're better off putting two men back because you need a big return. Now, they have to take this ball all the way down the field, 90 some yards and they win it. 98 yards win it. This is what champions are made. They can do it. Now they must execute and show the crowd that they can do it. Well, with a minute 21 left, uh, the crowd is still in the game, but they're asking for a lot. Ball is on the three, 97 yards away from pay break. The work is cut out to lead the Bulls a little general. Chris Killings is the deep back. The Bulls rolling out. The end zone, 5, 10, 15. He's out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Great comeback block by John Davis on the fourth to take a man off with the Bulls shoulders there. But the Bulls did what he was supposed to do. He got the 10 yards and he went out of bounds. That saves time. First and 10 Bison, ball is at the 19-yard line, a minute 15 left. Okay, you see, now he's outside. That's a lot of room he has to go here. Now here comes Davis back, boom, just to knock that linebacker off him, and he goes off to the first down. John Davis is put wide left to the bottom of the screen. Lee the Bulls at quarterback, and the referee signals for a stop of time, and he's going to talk with one of his other, he's going to talk with the linemen. Minute 15 left in the football game. Howard University trailing Delaware State 28-21, first and 10 on their own 19-yard line. DeVoe rolling out, looking to pass. He's got time, looking, looking, throws, and he's got it complete. That's Troy Kyle, and out of bounds. Another first down. Execution, execution. That's the key to this drive. Take your time, call your plays, nice pass play, mix it up, get enough for the first down, have most of your calls go to the sidelines so you can save time. Good call. First and 10, ball is at the 34, and here it is again. Okay, you see now, he's going out looking. Big play, throws this ball. Nice catch here to keep his feet and bounce. He's dragging him out of bounds, saving time. First and 10 of the 34, the Bulls rolling out. He's under pressure. He's under pressure. He's going to be brought down at the 30. Big play by Malcolm Showa. Shoal is there to bring down Lee the Bulls from behind. See now, loss of four. You need a quick huddle. You need to throw the ball out and stop the clock hard, get a nice play. I think they're trying to move the ball upfield. 45 seconds left in the game. The Bulls rolling out, looking, throws. And it is complete on to the interceptor. Yeah, I don't want to say that it was erupting on the sideline. Big play. Intercepted by Mark Ware on the side. Big play. I'm sorry, that's Elvis Hines out of Kent Island, Maryland. With the interception at 33 seconds left in the game. And Delaware State will take over on offense. This is what happens when you got to make things happen. You're in the hole. Now, this is an ill-advised pass. See, it's, it's, it's a short pass. Good play by the defensive back. Just dives in there and he makes the catch. He's hoping that it was a tie. Nice play by Elvis Hines. Big, big play. Big Dive. play. Dive. Dive. the game. Diving interception that stopped what could have been a, a game-winning drive. Of course, they had a long ways to go. But now Delaware State seems to be in a position to clinch at least a share in the NEAC championship or a conference title. Got a flag on the play, Martin. Too much time looks like. The Delaware State, of course, is not any anxious at all to run any plays, and this is going to be not a happy defeat for the Bison here at the Old Field. Offense! First down! First down! They put themselves too far in the hole in the first half, and it was a lot to overcome. They had enough time, they just couldn't do it. I also want to thank Kelly Williams. He's the engineer in charge here for the WHMM television football broadcast. He's done an outstanding job as Delaware State just 
falls on the ball, they're going to let the clock run down. 25 seconds, 24, it ticks down. Jim Tripp, of course, in charge of the production, along with Bill Pratt, producer. Larry Haynes, the floor director and lighting man. Marvin Howard, we want to thank him. He was uh, an injured center for Howard University. He's helped us by being the stat man here today. And it has been outstanding, Dr. Johnny Fairfax, working with you in the broadcast, the home games of Howard University. So, that is the end of the contest. Delaware State has defeated the Bison of Howard University 28-21. to We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with a recap. I'm living with animals, witness a beautiful ballet between horse and rider that is also a featured event in the Olympics. We visit an indoor Everglades where research is being done to preserve our environment and to find out why rats make good pets and learn how to teach your dog how to heal on a leash. So, for this and pet care information about cats, dogs, horses, fish, and other animal companions, join Sunny, Lily, Scruffette, and me this week on Living with Animals. I wasn't sure if there could be any happy days in the future. Drugs had taken control of my life completely. I lost everything, including my self-respect. I just wanted a chance for something better. At a drug counseling center, I got the help that I needed. Now I look forward to a beautiful future. My best is yet to come because you will win now. Support the United Way campaign. The the best. Okay, we're back live at Green Stadium. It's uh, still down on the field. We can see the Hornets of Delaware State celebrating. I guess this is payback for them for last year when Howard University defeated them at their home turf and celebrated big because it was the first championship ever for Howard University. And I guess, you, as you say, turned out as fair play. What about the game, though? It looked like they really won this one, as you pointed out, in the first half. Hey, this is a big game for both teams. Delaware came out in the first half and established a running game and a passing game. I mean, they had an equal amount of yardage almost, rushing and passing. Their defense, I thought, had a great game. They came out on top. And Delaware State just kind of sat on it in the second half. They were up by, at, at one point, they were up by 21 points, and they threw one pass in the second half. But that meant that they were able to do things still on the ground, even though the Bison knew that they were going to run the ball and try to keep the clock going. I was impressed with, like I said earlier, with the blocking of Delaware State's offensive line. And this kid, Reggie Barnes, is a real fighter. He's a real good ball player. He and Killings battled right down to the end for the Russian title in the Mid East Athletic Conference. Two outstanding backs. I mean, this game was everything you could want in terms of scoring. I mean, good, outstanding defensive play, offensive play. Hey, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Great plays by Derek Faison and Jimmy Johnson in the receiving end uh, today. And, of course, uh, Jimmy Johnson, outstanding career here at Howard University. What about some of the seniors and some of the players that you saw out here today that won't be back that you think uh, that we should mention? Hey, a tough way for seniors to go out. I'm sure Lee DeBose wanted to go out on a bigger note. I'm sure Jimmy Johnson wanted to go out on a bigger note. I'm sure Pat Boyd wanted to go out on a bigger note. Hey, that's the way the ball bounces. This is football. Somebody has to win. Somebody has to lose. But I saw some good blocking by Pat Boyd and company up front. I saw some good decisions by DeBose. Hey, Jimmy Johnson had a great game. I mean, there were players on both sides of the field. I mean, they went back and forth, back and forth. I mean, just a spectacular game. These seniors can be proud of their play. Unfortunately, they end on a sad note. Coach Willie Jeffries, of course, uh, you know, obviously, he had a, at one point in the season when they went up, of course, to Grambling, I mean, up to the Classic and defeated Grambling University, everybody said, hey, we're on our way. But then he knew the reality that this team was really not quite there, that they were asking them to do a lot of things. Yeah, this is not the team we had last year. Not quite as talented, but talented. Now, but I want to say this. Let's not take anything away from Delaware. They played a good game, okay? They came here, they knew what they had to do, and they did it. Now, Howard did as much as they could, given the set of circumstances, but you got to give a lot to Delaware. So, I mean, they played a great game. Both teams just played a great game. Outstanding game, outstanding year. It's been a lot of fun, Dr. Johnny Fairfax. So I want to thank you, and I want to thank you, our fans, for watching. And I say, hey, watch us again next year. So for Dr. Johnny Fairfax and for Martin Wyatt, thank you for watching, and please join us next year.